I've configured two servo motors to wave at me when I say, okay, Google, wave. Hi, I am waving at you. Hi, my name is Caroline. In this video, we are going to continue our AIY projects kit with the Magpie projects guide here. Uh, last week, we talked about LEDs. If you missed out on that, I will link to it below. Today, we're focusing on chapter eight of our manual here, attaching a servo motor. And first, I'm going to show you the project that came with the book. If you do all of the instructions verbatim, I did purchase some servo motors. This project as written only uses one servo motor so I'm just we're going to start with what's in the book first. It's, it's this one that's connected here and I'm going to show you how it works. If you did all, everything as it says in chapter 8 in the book this is what you're going to get. You have to press the button here and then you'll say maximum and then it moves and then you'll say minimum and it'll move to the minimum position like that. Or you can say middle and it moves into the middle position. Now, according to the documentation of the servo motor that I purchased, and I will link to it below, it's supposed to move 180 degrees between minimum and maximum. Mine only moves 90 degrees. Uh, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if the servo motor is, isn't very good. I, it came in a pack of five. They were about 250 each. I've tried them all out. They all worked exactly the same way. So either they're all defective or this is just the way that they work. So, and, and there is this twitching while it's on as well. Uh, so I don't know if it's the motors that I purchased or, or what, but anyway, I, I did notice the twitching. Here's how I attached the servo motors to my AIY kit. I started off with a row of header pins, then I break off three of those header pins. Long sides, I put it into my breadboard, and short sides are up. Then I lay my voice hat over the short sides, over the pins that I need. Then I've soldered those short sides in into the GAPIOs 26 and 6 that I need. And then once the soldering is done, I turn it back over again. And here you'll see I've attached the servo motors. I've got a little video going here and I've plugged, and it's pretty easy to plug in the servo motors once I have the header pins soldered in. Now let's move on. Last week in the LED video, I talked about, hey, let's do this with the wake word command instead of having to press the button every single time by combining what's in that assistant library demo with local. And we're gonna do that as the next step. I'm also going to add a second motor and we're gonna have two servo motors and the Google Home wake word. In the last step, we completed the servo motor chapter eight as written. Now we're going to add on Google Home commands and this as a local command. So now we don't have to press the button anymore. We're gonna say the wake word. And I have the code posted on my GitHub page as you can see here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to CD into desktop. Now you really could put this anywhere you want to put this. And we're going to open up a text editor, sudo nano uh, src, and we're gonna call the servo. And we are on my GitHub page. We're gonna go into the LED servo page. We're gonna to go to servo.py. This is Python, go to raw. We're gonna control A to get everything, copy, and then go over into the text editor and hit paste. And sure enough, it is all there now. Control X and yes to save. Yes, that's my file name. Now we need to make it executable, so I will shabad plus x src servo.py and I do need to sudo shamod and now we're gonna run it src servo.py and yes my servo motors start twitching when I start doing this and I'll say okay Google what's my name your name is Caroline so this is the regular Google home and but now we have local commands okay Google wave hi I am waving at you. And there it goes. I'm waving two servo motors at once. I've configured two servo motors to wave at me when I say, okay, Google, wave. Hi, I am waving at you. In the next video, I'm gonna combine the four LEDs 
and the two servo motors into one big project where you can control the LEDs and the servo motors together. Uh, so uh, check back next week for the continuation of this project with AIY Kit and Google Home. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.